All right, uh, this next comedian is uh, one of my best friends. You can check him out on our comedy troupe, The Undergrad's Comedy. Don't be fooled, he is a nerd. <laughs> How's that introduction, man? I'm sorry. All right, give it up for my friend, Omari Brown. What's up, what's up? You're freaking mad! It's an Independence Day weekend! I got a freaking speeding ticket! The cop is being sarcastic. He says, hey, I'm not saying you're guilty, but you were going 10 miles over the speed limit. Really? Really? That's just like saying, hey, OJ Simpson, I'm not saying you were guilty, but hey, if the glove fits, <laughs> or, hey, Omari, I'm not saying you're guilty, but I saw you in a grocery store selling a pack of beer, tampons, and a chicken soup for soulful West Indians. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. Other things I'm upset about is how everybody is on LeBron James' sack. Breaking news! I just heard, you know, through my, I just read through my phone. LeBron James is going to be playing for the Monstars. <laughs> Nobody watched Space Jam when they were a little kid? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's getting hot up here. But uh, I think what, uh, what I heard was, J uh, what was it? James Cameron is doing a documentary for uh, LeBron James, and it's going to be in movie theaters in 3D. In my opinion, I think it would be sweet if it would be James Cameron and Steven Spielberg. So therefore, it would be the Titanic meets Indiana Jones meets the color purple. But when I told my friend, he said, dude, you just described Amistad 2. <laughs> He's like, a black guy on a ship and a whip. It's like, oh, shit. Okay, so uh, like you guys said, you know, about the World Cup and everything, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm upset that, you know, they got the, the new look of the ball. Have y'all seen the new look of the soccer ball? Being that you know it's in, you know, it's in Africa, they cover the ball in the condom. <laughs> oh boy, it is getting so hot up there. <laughs> oh my gosh, my back is sweating. Uh, it's not, it will later. But, uh, <laughs> hey, y'all heard that the, uh, what's the guy's name, uh, Hashi Kashi, the hot dog eating champion? He, was, he went to jail yesterday. So if you can eat hot dogs in minutes, imagine what he can do in seconds in jail. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, does anybody watch the show Community on NBC? You know, uh, Donald Glover, the black guy? Okay, they watch it, but like only one person knows who Donald Glover is. The only black guy on that show. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, uh, you know, just so you can Google this later on tonight, he wanted to audition to be the new Spider-Man because they're going to reboot the new Spider-Man movie. I was like, oh, that'd be so sweet, you know, the first black Spider-Man. But then, you know, once you think about it, if, you know, they did choose him, uh, then, uh, you know, all the black stereotypes of, you know, a superhero, like he'd probably have like a single mother living in the projects. <laughs> and that's all I got. <laughs> Sorry to be a joke for that one. That's, I was gonna riff on that, nothing else to come to mind. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, but uh, I heard that Spike Lee, you know, is, is giving his opinion on the whole oil spill. He's saying that Barack Obama is doing the, you know, the best that he can. That's why he's looking for somebody to play Barack Obama in his new upcoming movie called He Got Oil. <laughs> if that movie title doesn't work, it's Do the Oil Thing. <laughs> if that movie title doesn't work, it could be Malcolm X, The Story About Oil. <laughs> you get the connection? <laughs> oh my god. All right, uh, I'm sure everybody on here, y'all you know, I mean, in here is on Facebook. And you know, Facebook always suggests that you should be a fan of this. I'm a fan of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. How many people like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Yeah. Shout out! 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 Shout out
Java? Okay. <laughs> uh, Facebook suggested that if I like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, then I should also like Skittles. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was random. I just want to share it with y'all. Hey, uh, did y'all hear that uh, Prince Harry got into you know, a little accident when he was riding on a horse the other day? Uh, the reporter asked, like, if he was okay, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm okay. I tried to Superman that hoe. <laughs> you! You! <laughs> Nobody heard of Soldier Boy? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I flipped this page. I don't know. It's so hot up here. <laughs> sweating, but I'm not sweating. <laughs> All right. Uh, other things that uh, I came across in the newspaper. The uh, studies show that cell phones are will not cause people to you know have cancer. Yeah. I'm like, oh sweet, that's awesome because I smoked three iPhones last week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, the, the creator from uh, Girls Gone Wild, you know Joe Francis, he proposed to his girlfriend. You want to know how he proposed to his girlfriend? He lifted up his shirt and he pierced his nipple with the wedding ring. <laughs> nobody likes. Okay, fellas, Girls Gone Wild, nobody like that. <laughs> There's all gay people in here. <laughs> gay guys. Oh my gosh, it's gay night. This is actually gonna make me sweat for real. <sighs> Boy, all right. Uh, Kim Card. Well, I don't know if I should say this one. I'll say it anyway. Kim Kardashian for the uh, straight people. <laughs> that she's being waxed in the, uh, Madame Tussauds and uh, the Wax Museum in New York. Uh, employees are just trying to figure out why they're you know, holes and fingerprints on the, on our ass. Only straight people would get that. I can understand, you know, that's why it's so quiet in here. There's a whole bunch of people, you know, it's gay. More people laughed at the Hashitashi guy to swallow on hot dogs than that Kim Kardashian joke. Freaking gay people, man. Straight people! That's my time. I forgot to tell you, it's gay night, Amari. Oh. Gay night. Dude, you think you'd be used to it. Oh. <laughs> that was a reference to the fact that me and Amari performed at the Gay Community Center multiple times. And we even did comedy, so... <laughs> All right. All right, uh, this is a pickup line for a guy who has a really big dick because I can't really use it. So uh, you go up to the girl and say, Yo, what's up, girl? They used to call me good at two shoes until they realized they should call me good at three shoes. Because I got a huge dick. I don't know if that would work or not, but tell me. All right. All right, this next guy is a new guy. He's really funny. He's killing it all over the place. Give it up for Andrew Pauly. Please be seated. <laughs> I was in high school, I went to the prom, and all my friends uh, got their dates corsages for their wrists. And I got my date a car air freshener. My friend said, why didn't you just get her a flower? said, because I think this thing smells better and I'm pretty sure that it lasts longer. <laughs> we get to the dance and my date disappears. And I look for her and I find her and she's sitting with another guy. I said, what's up? And she said, I'm leaving with this guy. And I was devastated. I said, why are you leaving with him? She said, because I think he smells better and I'm pretty sure that he lasts longer. <laughs> oh. Oh. When I was a kid, my dad used to hit me. But only when I really asked for it. My old man was a good blackjack dealer. <laughs> My friend Terry and I were out flying a kite, and we were watching the kite up in the sky, and we see a flock of geese flying south. And Terry looks at me and he says, why are geese always uh, flying in a V formation? But Terry and I were facing east. I said, Terry, those geese are trying to signify that the sun is greater than our kite. <laughs> And they are right. If a wolf meets a sheepdog, does he look at him and say, you sell out? 
A cantaloupe is a melon, or an incapable antelope. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's two differences between a couch and a sofa. The spelling and the pronunciation. <laughs> I live here in Richmond in Oregon Hill. Does anybody live there? So it does. Um, it's cool, I, I love my neighborhood. The only bad thing is that sometimes people from the burbs or from out of town get lost in my neighborhood while they're looking for stuff downtown and they want directions. This couple stopped their car in front of my house yesterday. Um, the lady rolls down the window and says, do you know how to get to the Landmark Theater? I said, yes I do. She said, well can you give us directions? I said, yes I can give you directions. Go to the end of the block and take a left. Then take a left on the Belvedere. Then drive to you see the 7-Eleven. Then pull in the 7-Eleven parking lot. Then go inside and buy a pack of Marlboros and a lottery ticket. <laughs> then get back in your car and drive back here. <laughs> Give me the cigarettes and the lottery ticket. And I'll tell you how to get to the landmark theater. <laughs> Ain't no free directions in Oregon Hill. <laughs> I say man too much, like as a filler word, you know? Some people say well or you know. I say man too much. And sometimes I do it on stage too. Like the other night I did a show and I tried to joke out for the first time and um, it got a couple laughs and it got a couple groans too. And I said, that's all right, I'll take a groan, man. <laughs> I looked at the back of the bar, some creepy guy with a mustache was raising his hand, <laughs> smiling at me. <laughs> what else again? Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a girlfriend. Um, she asked me to go shopping with her. And I didn't want to because I hate shopping. But I went because I like sex. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a store. Uh, she picked out a pair of jeans she liked. And uh, she took them in the dressing room to try them on. She came out and she looked me right in the eye. And she said, be honest with me. Did these make me look fat? And I looked her dead in the eye. I said, no, of course not. I said, but go like this. And she did. I said, did you hear that ripping sound? <laughs> These jeans are obviously of very poor quality. Let's try the next size up and see if they're made any better. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna keep this show going. This next guy's a very funny man. You can catch him at the 955 Club. You can catch him all over town. I hope he shows up more because he's a funny guy. And uh, just give it up. Yo, what are you guys doing? But guys, I need everyone's attention up here, motherfuckers. All right? Who's looking? Who's looking? Let's get a little hand count. I'm looking. All right. We're gonna. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna give this guy a fucking sweet intro clap. So let's get it going. <laughs> Give it up for your next comment, Tommy Woodard! <laughs> Thanks, kids. But I don't care now because I'm drunk. <laughs> How you doing? You having a good time? Excellent. I don't care about that either. Um, so, uh, before I start doing stand-up comedy, I actually I uh, wanted to share this with you. This is a little bit of news. Got this in a news feed on my telephone. They just found out what caused the BP disaster, the, the oil disaster, the explosion in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, evidently, somebody uh, had dropped a half-pound Taco Bell beef and potato burrito off the side of the oil rig and it sunk down to the bottom of the ocean and went in the ocean floor and that's what caused the explosion. And I know this is true because a couple days ago I had a half pound Taco Bell beef and potato burrito. And let me tell you this, uh, no blowout preventer in the world is going to prevent that disaster. <laughs> There's a BP cleanup crew in my bathroom right now and some seagulls are covered with something that is not oil. It is bad times. It is awful. 
Awful Dutch. Did you kids have a fun 4th of July? Excellent, excellent, yes. I had a pretty good time. Um, I'm a dad, and so I did daddy stuff on the 4th of July, and uh, my kid and I went to a bunch of cookouts, and we had a good time. Uh, but one of the cooks I, cookouts I went to had a bunch of parents there, and uh, one of the dads, uh, as I was entering the cookout, looked at me, and he looked at my arm, and he saw my silly band. I don't know if you know what silly bands are, but they're rubber bands. They are evidently made of like Mr. Fantastic's DNA because they are super expensive, but they're 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 shaped like any number of things. But the dad saw my silly band and he, he just looked at me and gave me a morose what's up? And I looked at his arm and he also had a silly band. And then as I was making my way around the party, I saw that all the dads had um, silly bands. Uh, because this is evidently how modern day children mark their parents as property. So this is, I'm owned by somebody because I have a silly band. Um, and I have actually a, a Toy Story silly band. This is, um, this is Bullseye from Toy Story. And this means I'll fetch a good price at auction. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, it's not just parents because um, my best friend, uh, Melanie, was hanging out with my son and myself. And uh, my son gave her a silly band. And I'm not sure when this happened. But they were in the bathroom together for like a half an hour, and I guess uh, she was helping him use the bathroom, and perhaps that's when she got her silly band, uh, and I guess I neglected to mention that my son is 18, so that is a whole, a whole different thing. That's, uh, no, no, my son is five, he's a cutie pie, I love him tremendously. You know, I, I love children in general, uh, children are awesome. Uh, not really, but the reason I love children <laughs> is because women love children, and I love women. I love all kinds of women, especially this one, until Blake sat down beside you, and I don't love you anymore, because I'm just picturing a stealth dick touching you some kind of way, and it's not... That's just me, that's not... I'm not into fat dudes being all over people that I want to have sex with. No, that's just a whole different... That's a different thing. I'm just, I'm just joking. But I love women. I love all kinds of women. I love, you know, I, I love waifs and tall waifs and Asian waifs, especially <laughs> love Asian waifs. But, but no, um, I love all kinds of women, but especially, and this is genetic. This is beyond what we think we like. I love a woman that's all hips and titties. This is, this is, this is genetic. This is what men like. A woman that's all hips and titties, this is ingrained. Like sometimes you'll see a woman like Marilyn Monroe or Selma Hayek, and then you'll, you'll in your mind, look at them, in your mouth you'll say, well that's just ridiculous. I cannot believe that anyone would be attracted to a woman like that. She's just some gay man's idea of what a woman should be like. That's right. And, and then the, the real women that you're talking to walk away. They, they walk away. And you say, oh, sweet Lord Jesus in heaven, I would sell a kidney to have sex with this ridiculous caricature of a woman. <laughs> and I would sell two kidneys if she'd let, let me stick it in her. But I digress. <laughs> because it's not about that. <laughs> but I digress. Um, <laughs> because... Eventually, we're all going to get old. A lot of you don't feel it because you're very young now, but we're all going to get old eventually. And when you get old, you just need somebody to be by your side to help you through that painful period of your life. I was watching a couple walk across the street the other day, an old couple walking across the street, simply walking across the street, and she was a spry 81, and he was a less spry, perhaps 157. And she made it all the way across the street and up on the curb, and she was waiting patiently for her husband who was trying to make his way across the street, and traffic was coming, so he was going at full speed. And he made it to the curb and stepped up and stumbled back to the curb, stepped up and stumbled back, about to get hit by a car, so he jumped up on the curb and was so happy, he did a celebratory dance, yeah, and broke his hip. Thank you, folks. It's my time. Good night. All right, Tommy Water.